Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel and in today's video it's going to be a little bit of a different sort of video so I was just scrolling through the internet earlier today and I came across some pretty cool 3D AFL stadium designs and I thought it was a bit too cool just to keep to myself so I've decided to put on the camera, put on the OBS recording and I'm going to go through around 5 AFL stadium designs that I've found on 3D Warehouse. Now basically what it is, is different AFL uh, designs, but 3D. So it's pretty cool. I'll, we'll get straight into it. That uh, The stadiums that I'll be showing you today are gonna be Adelaide Oval, the SCG, the MCG, the Gabba, maybe ANZ Stadium, because it was, it used to be an AFL stadium, and also Etihad Stadium. So without further ado, we'll hop straight on to 3D Warehouse. And we'll get started probably with the MCG, I reckon. All right, so here we are on 3D Warehouse. This is the website that we'll be going on today. As you can see, there is some different type. Uh, there's other stadiums than just AFL. We can see got some soccer stadiums and a few other, uh, yeah, typed types of AFL, uh, sorry, types of Australian stadiums in here. So it's just a whole folder of different Australian stadiums. Uh, but the ones we'll be taking a look at today are Adelaide Oval, the MCG, the SCG, the Gabba, and also Etihad Stadium. We might take a look at ANZ Stadium because it used to be in use. Uh, but yeah, we'll start off with the MCG just because I feel like it's probably the best one to start off with today. And it, it will probably look the best. Here is the MCG. And now just look how cool this is. Just something about like 3D cool designs like this. It just makes me really interested in them. And especially having, we can see on the outside that it's just a Google Maps. It looks like 2009 it says. So a bit old Google Maps, but they literally just take a screenshot of Google Maps and then put uh, the MCG through some program process. Uh, yeah, just pro uh, process it through a program or something. And it just comes out like this, a 3D design of the G. So pretty cool stuff i feel like this is going to be the best one that we see today just mainly because it is pretty much the main ground in australia for afl and probably cricket as well um a few others a few other sports um but yeah we can see here that the date was modified in 2014 and that was that is the case for the other stadiums as well so some afl stadiums might not be up to date to what they are in 2022 current year um but yeah here we go this is quite cool that it also has uh the outside of uh the mcg as well just not the stadium by itself and then a blank uh, a blank background and what also really um yeah impresses me is that the inside you can see the shadow is pretty much spot on because you know um if you've ever been to the mcg you just know that the sun just comes in from one side and makes it super annoying it's a really accurate shadow um for the mcg because there's always just that one side the sun glares into it if you're sitting over here you're screwed because you can't see anything uh, but yeah really cool and really accurate stuff really accurate details as well on the mcg i've had a peek at a few of these stadiums so far uh, but I thought it's too too good not to share with other people so I reckon the, my favorite that I've gone through so far is probably Etihad Stadium um, because it, obviously back in 2014 it was Etihad not Marvel all right here is Adelaide Oval if we click the full screen button now will it load it has loaded it's a little bit laggy and yeah we can just see that the design just isn't what it is today and it just pretty much the only good thing about this Adelaide Oval design is the right hand side here we can see that that yeah that part of Adelaide Oval is pretty much spot on uh, they've done really well with the roof and everything but this whole left side just isn't yeah isn't up to date and I would like to see every AFL stadium up-to-date version that could be really interesting to look at uh, but we can see the famous scoreboard here now everything just doesn't decide to load uh, Adelaide Oval I think has a lot of gig this one so it's going to be quite difficult to load and therefore the famous scoreboard won't load so Adelaide Oval probably yeah not the best only because it's not updated if it was updated to its 2022 version I reckon it could be probably the best uh, one of the best that we 
we'll be looking at today, but just because of how outdated this version is, I don't know how I would rate this one. Yeah, and lucky they bloody did the upgrade on Adelaide Oval because if it still looked like this, just, yeah, just shocking, shocking stadium. Here we are at Sydney now, modified date, 21st of March in 2014. So, won't be up to date and also might not be the best quality either. I feel like it could be similar to Adelaide Oval. Uh, but if the main part of it, if the ground could load, then it could look actually all right. Everything has been put together quite nicely for the SCG. Um, apart from obviously the low resolution and stuff like that that we can't really change. Um, everything has been put together pretty well and pretty spot on actually. Like the, the famous stand here, that's been put together really nicely. It's just that the resolution isn't the best and the shadows seem to be, yeah, really well done as well. The shadows on these 3D designs are just incredible. Like that would be pretty hard to do. All right, now obviously um, at the SCG and Adelaide Oval haven't been the best, but the MCG was good. And now we're moving on to the Gabba, which I think will be a good design as well, because it also has the surroundings of the Gabba, not just the ground and the stadium. Um, and then also moving on to Etihad Stadium is gonna be a ripping one, because I reckon, I reckon you guys will like it. It's probably my favorite here. And the Gabba, here we go. Not too shabby, and we can see there's actually some sort of training going on on the ground, which is actually pretty funny to see. So you can tell that this isn't made by scratch. I just go onto Google Earth or whatever that, whatever, yeah, program they do to get this. And then they just put it through a random processor and it just comes out the same image, image that it was on Google Earth, just 3D. So you can see maybe there's cricket pitches here. So it could be some cricket training, Brisbane Heat or either the Aussies team or who knows, maybe even an international team. But yeah, the Gabba isn't too bad. Now it probably doesn't have as many surroundings around the outside as the MCG has. And also Etihad Stadium. I keep on banging on about Etihad, but trust me, it is a really good one. And yeah, the surroundings do look pretty nice. Like that building next to it, you can see that from the Gabba and everything seems to be put together quite nicely. Everything does, like, that's that's pretty high quality as well, just the Brisbane Lions, I doubt that is actually there. It could be, who knows, if somebody lives in Brisbane, tell me if that's actually there on the Gabba. But all, all up, once again, the shadows are done pretty spot on and we can see that the light post is quite far away to the Gabba and the building is probably a little bit too close. Uh, but they've got the footy goals up as well, so that is a bit interesting. Now they've got the footy goals up, but the cricket, oh no, no, it actually could be, yeah, no, I think it is actually the Lions training because the pitch doesn't look like it is in use. It's very grassy and doesn't look like it would be in the right um, form for being trained with. But anyway, all up, the Gabba, not too bad, not too bad at all. We can see here, Pakistan versus Australia. So maybe it is cricket. Okay. and. The scoreboard is actually done really well. Gilchrist is here. Ponting, geez, yeah, a lot of old names. Brett Lee, Warren, geez, okay. The Gabba, probably, I'd say one of the best ones here, but we'll move on to the last one, which is gonna be Etihad Stadium. And I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, this is gonna be an absolute ripper. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna start from the bottom because this is outstanding here. We go, Etihad Stadium, not updated to Marvel Stadium. Look at that. This has been processed to absolute perfection. The roof is spot on. Etihad Stadium, not updated, but it doesn't really matter. And even the surroundings, like the got the train tracks, got Southern Cross here. You've got just absolutely everything that is in real life. And probably my favorite, because I feel like it's had the most effort gone into it because it's not just the normal ground from um, Google Maps or Google Earth. Like they've actually put in their own custom design, which makes it look a lot cleaner and yeah, a lot better for I reckon a 3D design. And we can see 
it's 806. It's not the best scoreboard, but I did look at the other one here. Etihad Stadium designed, so he's even put his own design on the scoreboard. The Kangaroos are up against the Lions. Stay tuned for my next model appearing soon in 3D Warehouse. Etihad Stadium made by Tom, can't, can't see the last name, bit too pixelated, but old image of the footy. And seriously, this one has to be my favorite design out of all of them. The shadows are spot on. The surroundings probably have a little bit more than uh, the MCG and the Gabba. Unfortunately, we couldn't see the best versions of Adelaide Oval and the SCG, but nonetheless, Etihad Stadium, bloody beautiful design. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more AFL content. I'm gonna try and bang out the AFL content, probably a little bit more than the cricket content, just because I feel like AFL is a bit more interesting than cricket, even though it is the cricket season, uh, but there still should be some cricket content here and there. However, I'm going to try and keep up some AFL videos as I haven't really done them in the past few months. Uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you all in my next one.